Uh, talk about uh, your contributions tonight. It seemed like you were out there doing a little bit of everything and also showed some confidence in your uh, perimeter shot. shot. Um, yeah, um, Coach Buck and uh, Nick and these guys make it, <coughs> make it so much easier. They are so concentrated on Yogi and concentrated on all these other guys that can do so much and um, just step up when your, time's, when your time's ready. All these guys have been working so hard, um, just getting up at your shots all the time and competing. Um, so when it comes game time, just do what you're, what you've been practicing. Coach said just a minute ago when he was in here, he was surprised that you were able to make it back this quickly. I and mean, is it, did you envision being ready for the start of the exhibition season when when you started your rehab? I mean, was that your goal or? Uh, definitely, it was. Um, talking with Dr. Elfield and um, Tim Carl, that um, they they really pushed me, and um, I was ready for it. And um, all these all my teammates have really really helped me get physically where I need to be. Coach Jackson has helped me get physically where I need to be. And, um, uh, we go really hard in practice every day, so uh, these guys push us and, and make it easier, the game easier for me. Zach? Yogi, it's a basic question, but I think you guys averaged 16 three-point attempts a game last year. You, you've averaged almost, I think, 24 and a half over these two exhibitions. Just how much more willing is this team to shoot, I guess? Again, I know it's a really basic question, but it just feels like you guys aren't nearly as hesitant with it this year as you were last year. Uh, no, we're not very hesitant with it, and that's because what we work on in practice is we just want to get inside-out shots. So first we want to go inside, you know, look in the paint, look at Honor, uh, big guys like that, and, you know, drive second away and just kick out for the three. You know, we're not going to be very hesitant on the shot. We want guys to honor us because you know, I feel like we've got great shooters on the team. Terry, what did you feel like you, you learned about your team tonight, the way that you, you got behind by 11 points early and were able to come back and play? Uh, what I learned about this team is, you know, guys didn't get down. You know, new guys even especially, they didn't get down at all. And we were down uh, by almost as 15. You know, guys kept each other up, uh, patted each other on the bus and stuff. So I think that's the biggest thing for us is, you know, to never get down. And, uh, people go on runs because, I mean, the game is all about runs. So if you just know how to overcome those runs, then we'll be okay. Robert, talk about, uh, I mean, obviously involved in the offense, but nine defensive rebounds is a, is a big number for you. Just talk about your focus on that area of your game today. Yeah, um, well, coming to the game, that was something, you know, we wanted to focus on. We knew that would be a key for this game and basically a key for the season. And uh, really, those guys just made it easy for me. Hunter and Colin, they were hitting those guys, so I just was really, you know, going to get the ball to clean it up and made it easy to get rebounds. Yeah. Rob, you and James, I mean, you have both coaches both has praised both of you, I guess, for your ability, your willingness to attack offensively in these two games. At some level, do you guys feel like it's easier to just embrace a big role because it, it, from Canada to here, it's pretty obvious you guys are going to need to play a lot of minutes this season? Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely easier um, just because, you know, we have we know that we have to be a big part of the team as far as our offense. And, uh, you know, with the type of guys we've got, like Nate and Yogi and James, the type of shooters and drivers that we have, you know, we all can make the game easier for each other, you know, from that aspect. So I think, you know, definitely uh, it's going to be a key for this season. Pete? Yeah, Robert, the uh, coach, can you talk a little bit about your competitiveness? Talk about that. You've always been competitive, and how much does that help you in this situation, given how young you are? Uh, yeah, um, you know, growing up with three brothers, you know, that was basically always a competition around the house. Um, so I think, you know, coming here with the attitude Coach Green and his staff have, uh, we, we basically do competition things every day. Um, you know, so when you're going against guys like Yogi and James at certain drills, you know, it just brings the best out of everybody. Alex? Yogi. You've been around Connor as long as anybody, and as far as playing with him and things, where, what's what's the biggest thing he's improved this off season, and just from these first two exhibition games, where do you where do you feel like he seems more comfortable? Um, you know, I think Connor has improved at attacking the rim. You know, Coach always says be a piranha at the rim, and I feel like he does that offensively and defensively. You know, he gets in there and, you know, hitting those big guys. So I think that's the biggest thing for him that he's improving on is being a lot more physical. You know, maybe a little thing he needs to improve on more is being more uh, in control when he catches the ball in the post, just slowing down a little bit, you know, taking his time when things kind of get sped up in his mind. 
Yogi, what do you kind of see out of Colin during his rehab, and are you at all surprised to see him be kind of more confident, more aggressive already? Uh, I mean, I'm not really surprised to see him come out there and play the way he did. You know, like he said, he's been shooting with Coach Buck for practice almost every day. So you know, I see him out there. We call him the shot doctor, Coach Buck. So, uh, you know, shot doctor, get your shot right, that's for sure. So I see him out there every day before practice, getting shots up. So, you know, all you got to do is get reps up, reps up, and you got that confidence. You know, he went out there today and showed, you know, what he's been doing and how well he's been doing it. And, uh, you know, he's been in treatment every day, getting better. So you know, I feel like Colin can be one of those guys that can uh, come in and make a couple threes for us. Jack? Kind of following up on that, Colin, was there a point in your recovery where you said, okay, wow, I feel ahead of schedule. I feel like I can get back, maybe not specifically for these games, but I can be ready to contribute pretty quickly this season. It's not something that's going to cost me a lot of this season. I don't think there's any one specific point. Um, going throughout the rehab and actually the day that it happened, I kept telling myself I'm going to be back for next season because then there's like a six month period, six and a half months um, away. Um, I know it's kind of the early end of it, but that's uh, the whole mindset I've always had. And these guys have always been telling me, you can be back, you can be back. And um, that's what this staff's been preaching to me. If, if I'm in there every day and I'm working, um, then then it, it's very an attainable goal. Jeff, hey, you obviously saw Colin in high school and in AAU. Going from what you saw from him then to what you see from him now, is he, is he starting to look like the player you expected him to become in college? And if so, in what ways? Uh, yeah, he's kind of looking like his old self a little bit uh, when he played at Cathedral and when he played on EZ10. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is that is, like I said before, his confidence got up. Um, and I think that's the biggest part. And, you know, if he, does, if he just does everything that Coach says, you know, he can get out there on the court and definitely contribute for us. This is for Yogi and Rob. When you guys play those three and four guard lineups, what do you have to do with smaller players to rebound effectively? Whether it's boxing out, you know, just putting your body in your uh, opponent, like what do you have to do to rebound the ball well? Uh, what you have to do is, you know, take the guy out completely. You know, the coaches say, you know, we don't have to be the ones to get the ball that blocking out the bigger guys. Just box them out so somebody else can get it. So I think that's the main thing that we just do is try and carve out space, take those big guys out the lane so other guys can come in and rebound for us. <laughs> Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.